Hi everybody, welcome to the best of CAT series from IMS. Let's have a look at the next question on algebra. As usual, pause the video, try to solve the question and then we will have a look at the solution. Let's have a look at the question. They have told us that A, B, C, D are integers. Integers can be positive and negative both. And they have told us A plus B plus C plus D is 30. Then what is the minimum possible value for A minus B the whole square plus A minus C the whole square plus A minus D the whole square? So when I was looking at this question and I was thinking of the best way to teach it, I thought let me just first understand the question for only two variables. So what if there was a question like this, say A plus B is 30. And they've asked us only for what is A minus B the whole square's minimum value. Now think, they have told us A and B both are integers. So in that case, the minimum value for A minus B will be possible when A will be equal to B. Because if A is equal to B, A minus B will become 0 and 0 square will be 0, right? If A was equal to B was equal to 15, this answer would have come 0, right? So now in this case, what will happen? Again, the same logic has to apply. I know that A, B, C, D are integers. A plus B plus C plus D has to be 30. Then what is the minimum value for A minus B the whole square plus A minus C the whole square plus A minus D the whole square? Now, the only problem in this case is 30 is not divisible by 4. If I divide 30 by 4, I get a 7.5, right? So, but 7.5 is not an integer, so I can't take that. So, I now need to take the values in such a way that they are as close as possible, but they are integers. So, what are the different values you can think of? So, if you can, if you take three of them, seven, that will be, and one would become nine. Can you get closer than that? Yes, you can get closer than that. So you can take two values as say 8. So you can take A and B as 8. That is 8 to the 16. 14 is left off and C and D you can take as 7. Anyway, that is on each side of 7.5. One integer will be 7 and the other will be 8. Right? So exactly now take these values and just put it in the equation which we want. So what have we got? A minus B the whole square. A minus B will become 0. 0 square is 0. A minus C will be 1, so 1 square. And A minus D will also be 1, so 1 square. Answer will be 2. And that is the minimum value of this function or the expression, whatever you want to call it. Understand in a lot of these maxima minima questions, most of the time, the values occur which are equal. Equal or the best possible thing. So if you had tried this with A plus B was 15, you would have understood this well. A plus B is 15. So, which means A and B cannot be 7.5 and 7.5. You have to take one as 7 and the other as 8. Well, instead of 30, if we had this as 32, then the answer would have come 0 because we could have taken each of them as 8, 8, 8, 8 and the answer would have been 0. But either ways, always try to take a smaller expression in your uh, for the example for a similar thing and just try it. It always makes life that much easier. As usual, try and solve the next question on your own and answer in the comment box.